Hello, and welcome to this video on using the new Band in a Box for Windows DAW plugin in Pro Tools. There's a new plugin included with Band in a Box 2019 for Windows that accesses all of the real tracks, real drums, and other content in Band in a Box, but can also be used right inside your favorite DAW without the use of the Band in a Box application. The plugin comes free with the purchase of Band in a Box and installs when you install the main program. In this video, we're going to have a look at the various ways you can use this amazing plugin in Pro Tools. If you use a different DAW, we have other videos that demonstrate the Band in a Box plugin in Ableton Live, Reaper, Cubase, Studio One, and many more. First, we'll look at an easy way to get started. I'm going to try and use a variety of different Band in a Box styles, so you'll get a good taste of the different genres, grooves, and tempos we cover. Whether you're into jazz, rock, country, R&B, or any musical styles that you can think of, there's something for you in Band in a Box. Right now, we're listening to some great funk tracks playing in Pro Tools that we created with the plugin. Everything that you're hearing was created by the Band in a Box plugin simply by typing in these chords. And you can enter any chords in any key. Then we picked this funk style and generated the tracks. I'm going to go back in time a little bit to show you just how we did it. We're going to start with a blank Pro Tools project. The Band in a Box plugin is an instrument plugin, so I'll go to Track, New, and create a new stereo instrument track. Now I'll click on the first box under Inserts A to E and go to the multi channel plugin, Instrument, Band in a Box DAW AAX plugin. This is the Band in a Box plugin. It's sizable, so I'll make it bigger. You can see that the chord chart is currently blank. This area here is for the different instruments in the style, and will be blank until we load a style. Here's where you can pick a style. Here you can set various musical elements such as the key, time signature, starting bar, ending bar, etc. And there's a spot for a song title, and various menus we'll look at later. In order to get some tracks, we need to pick a style and enter some chords, but not necessarily in that order. So I'll enter a chord progression first. I'll do it in the key of A, and I'll start by entering some chords. A7 at bar 1, and I'll leave that for 4 bars. Then C7 sus at bar 5, and D7 at bar 7. I'll use a handy shortcut K8 to copy the last 8 bars. I'll also add a part marker at bar 9 to outline the form of the song, and that means that the drums will play a fill in the bar right before that part marker. At bar 17, I'll add a part marker as well, but I'll click a second time to make it a B part marker, which means the drums and sometimes other instruments will change what they're playing at that part. And I'll enter B minor, then E minor at bar 19, B minor at bar 21 again, and then E7 at bar 23. I think that's good, but I'll make the end bar 24, change the ending chord to an A, and change choruses to 4 so this entire thing will repeat 4 times. Now we can select a style, either by clicking in the Select a Style area, or by going to the Select menu and picking Select a Style. Here is the list of all of the Band in a Box styles available. As you can see, there's over 6,000 to choose from. You can double click on any style in the list to hear a sample of what it will sound like. So, for example, if I filtered the list to show jazz styles, I could sample some of them.
some rock styles. or some country styles. I think a funk style would be best for the chords that I entered, so I'll sample some funk styles. And I like this fetchin style. You'll notice that this column shows the ideal tempo of the style, which for this one is 110 beats per minute. That does not mean you have to use it at that tempo, but if it's somewhat close to that, you'll get the best results. I'll pick the fetchin style. I'll make the tempo slightly faster than the sample we heard in the style picker, 114 beats per minute. And I'll set that in the DAW as well. When you first add the plugin, it takes the tempo from the DAW, but since we changed it in the plugin, I need to change it in the DAW as well. So now we're ready to generate the parts. There are some custom generation options in this menu, but right now I just want all the tracks generated normally, so I'll press the top Generate button. Now it's creating the tracks. You'll notice that there are some empty green squares and an empty blue square in this area. When the tracks are ready, those squares will be filled in. The generation takes a little bit of time, so we'll skip ahead in the video a little bit. Now our tracks are finished and these squares are filled in with waveform icons, meaning they're ready to drag into the DAW. Before we do that, we can sample the tracks by pressing play in the plugin. Next, we'll drag them into the DAW, which can be done individually or as a group. This is how you drag a single track. But I'll undo that, and this is how you import all of the tracks, by dragging the blue icon. And now we have these tracks right in our DAW. During playback, the chord chart will highlight the currently playing bar. This is a great tool if you want to record your own tracks over top of this. So you can now mix the tracks, add effects, or anything you like. And, as with all real tracks and real drums, these are real instruments played by real musicians. These are not individually sampled notes, these are actual performances by some of the top studio musicians in the world, able to play over any chord progression in any key you enter. This particular style has a bass part by Alex Al, one of the most sought after bass players in LA who played in Michael Jackson's band for over 10 years, and has also played with the likes of Stevie Wonder, Sting, and many more. On guitar is Bob Lanzetti, electric piano is covered by Jeff Lorber, and drums are played by Spot Seawright. 
I'll do a few similar but quicker examples like this with a few different styles so you can get a sense of the scope of what you can do in the Band in a Box plugin. Here I'm typing in some chords like I did before. But this time I'll pick a hard rock style. I'll set the tempo and generate the tracks. Then I'll just drag them in and I've got some great hard rock tracks in my project. I'll type some chords in again, but this time I'll pick a bluegrass style and generate the tracks. Then I drag them in when they're complete and I've got some great bluegrass tracks in my project. In addition to typing in the chords, you can open actual Band in a Box files. These could be files that you've created right in the Band in a Box app, files that other people have sent you, or even the demos that come with Band in a Box. I'll open a Band in a Box song file that features a bluesy Americana style with a resonator guitar by Eddie Dunlap, who has backed up artists like Clay Walker, T-Bone Burnett, and Mo Pitney. So now we have the entire thing entered for us. The chord progression, key, form, etc. All we have to do is generate the tracks and drag them in. Just like that, you have a great Americana style with Eddie Dunlap playing over the changes. You can also save anything that you enter here as a Band in a Box file. One more quick demo. I'll open another file. Let's check out the demo for a rumba style. The style in this song features the legendary Alex Acuna on drums, as well as the amazing Ramon Stegnero on guitar. I'll generate, drag the tracks in, and here it's playing. Mm -hmm. 